First, connect the device. Click Select and we will search for devices. Long press the power button of the mini key tool and you can see the serial number on the screen, which means it has been turned on. Meanwhile, you can see the icon of mini key tool in the Xhost app. Tap the device icon to connect the device. You will hear two beeps. It means it has been connected. At this time, let's demonstrate how to read and generate the chip. Put the chip into the mini key tool. Click on Read Transponder. OK, now the chip is recognized. Then click on Generate Transponder. Choose a chip type to be generated. For example, Generate ID46 chip. Soon, the chip is generated successfully. Go back to click on Read Transponder to read this chip. It is already the 46 chip that is generated just now. Start to generate wireless remote. This is wireless remote. Put it into keyhole of the mini key tool. Then select the car model you want to generate. I have smart car so I will generate smart remote. If the prompt failed to generate, please change the position of wireless smart remote because the coil position may not be able to sense the chip. Okay, generation succeed. This is a wired remote. Just remove this cover and you will see that there is a chip interface which can be connected to this remote programming cable. Then you can generate keys. Select the model you want to generate. Click Generate after generation is complete. Click OK. Check the version and change the language. Just click Device Information to view the latest version. If there is the latest version, it will let you update as soon as you open the software, and you do not need to enter the device version to update. How to change the language? Click Select and then the language to change the language you want.